In this video, we will be doing an example of a basic integration by parts problem. Now, the first question you should ask yourself is, how do I know that I should use integration by parts on this problem? Well, a good rule of thumb is to look at the function that we're taking the integral of. And um, whenever we have a product of two functions or maybe more, then um, using integration by parts could be helpful. And so in this function, um, we have x times the hyperbolic cosine of 5x dx. And so there we can see we have two separate functions being multiplied together. Um, and so that might be a problem that we can use integration by parts to solve. Um, the second question you should ask yourself is how do I know what to pick for my u and my dv? Um, now, on certain problems, this might not matter, but on this one, a general rule is that we'll pick for our u the part of the function that if we keep taking the derivative, eventually we'll get zero. Um, this will make it easier to solve. Um, so for this problem, we're taking the integral of x times the hyperbolic cosine of 5x dx. And so when we're picking our u and our dv, um, since if I take the derivative of x, I only have to take two derivatives in order to get to zero, um, that's probably going to be a good choice for u. So I'm going to pick for my u the x function. And so eventually we have to find what du is. Um, we also need to find what v is. Um, and from this function, our dv must be hyperbolic cosine of 5x dx. Um, now, the derivatives of hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine are something that we learned in Calculus 1. And over here for reference, I have them written down. Um, this particular one, in order to find what v would be, we actually need to take the integral of dv. Um, and to do that, we actually need to use u substitution. Um, and that's something, if you would like to, you can pause the video and work out for yourself. Uh, but we should get uh, 1 over 5 hyperbolic sine of 5 x. And then over here to find du, this is much more simple. We just take the derivative of x, and so we get 1 dx. And now that we have these, we can basically just plug them in using our formula um, to find what the integral of this function would be. And so we have this will equal uh, u times v, so x times 1 fifth hyperbolic sine of 5x minus the integral of v du, and so we have one fifth, we can bring that out in front, um, hyperbolic sine of 5x dx. And so now we have a function over here that we can take the integral of. Um, and so that's why we're using integration by parts, is it takes this mess and makes it a little more simple to solve. Um, and so, again, we have, this is equal to 1 fifth x hyperbolic sine of 5x minus 1 fifth times. And again, we have to use um, u substitution in order to solve this. And so um, I will work that out for this particular one. Um, and so over here, if we pick for u, we pick 5x, then du is 5dx. Um, and so then uh, we have 1 fifth times the integral of, um, and then this is going to, if we divide both sides by 5, we get 1 fifth out in front here, hyperbolic sine of u du. And then we have plus c because we are integrating and whenever we integrate without bounds, we always have that constant um, 
All right, so one more step and we'll be finished. We have one fifth X hyperbolic sine of five X minus, and if we multiply these one fifths together, we have one over 25 um, hyperbolic cosine of U plus C. And then to get our final answer, we want to plug in what our U was up there. And so we have one fifth X hyperbolic sine of five X minus one twenty fifth hyperbolic cosine of five X plus C. And then that will be our answer.